Joining us now, Stuart Stevens, a former Republican consultant and co-founder of the Lincoln Project. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, this is a night when Nikki Haley and Ron DeSantis are both going to be addressing the convention. What do you say to that show of unity for the party now after such a bitter battle during the primaries that often turned very personal? Yeah, you know, one thing they all have in common is that they raised their hands and they said that they would support Donald Trump if he was a convicted felon. Well, at least I guess you have to say they've been true to their word. He is a convicted felon, and they are supporting him. I just don't think that most Americans believe we should have a felon as president. I mean, it's a radical notion, but I think that's the majority of the country. How does the Republican Party move on after the assassination attempt on Trump? And, and what does the future of the party look like uh, with Senator J.D. Vance now? Look, this is the full embrace of Trumpism for the Republican Party. Um, the Republican Party that I worked in, going back to George Bush, um, no longer exists. George Bush couldn't get 5% in the Republican primary if he ran as he did in 2000. This is an angry party. It's a party that uh, has Donald Trump is out there saying we live in a third world country, an uncivilized country. There are these dark demons out there that are after us, and you need a strong man to protect you. And I just don't think that that's where the, the country really is. It's not a very optimistic vision. Um, Ronald Reagan announced in front of the Statue of Liberty to send the signal to welcome immigrants. His last speech was an ode to immigration. And here you have this attack on people who want to come to America for a better life. I think it's, um, it's just not where the majority of the country is. What messaging would you have for Democrats looking ahead to the DNC? Yeah, I, listen, I, I think this is a very simple race. Um, if you look at the 100-day uh, plan that the president outlined last Friday night in Michigan, those are ideas to test about 80-20 to the good. You look at Project 2025 and a lot of these ideas that are being tossed around in Republican convention, they test about 20-80 to the bad. So I think you, <laughs> you take the 80-20 and you run it against the 20-80. It's pretty straightforward. You have someone who is out on bail, who is running for president of the United States, who is hometown jury, has found him liable of a sexual assault, a judge called rape. Uh, this is not a very complicated race. I think the Democrats have gone through this period that I don't understand, uh, but they need to get through it. And they have a president who has been one of the most successful first-term presidents since World War II. They ought to run on that record. The stock market is at record highs. The economy is in good shape. Um, put it out there. Get about the business of making the case while you should continue to lead the country. Stuart Stevens, we thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it.